Hi, this is Jupiter Jim from jupitergym.com. I'm at my live active blog, Jupiter Jim's Marketing Team. I'm just taking you here because this is where you'll find the blog post that will contain the CSS code that you'll need to copy and paste to complete this video tutorial. Okay, I'm going to click on this tab here. This is going to bring me to my demonstration blog. And this demonstration blog is using WordPress version 3.0. 1.0 along with the thesis theme version 1.8. Now as I scroll up and down you'll see that on the left and right edge it's purple and that's the site background color and you'll see that the center is yellow and that's the page background and I showed you how to do that using solid colors and CSS code for the page background and the site background in another video. In this video we're going to tile images for the page background and the site background. So what I'll do now is click on this tab here which will bring me to the dashboard of Jim's Max GXL marketing team where I've already logged in to my blog and I'm going to scroll down here. Now right here there's a media tab. I just want to let you know that you're going to have to already know how to add an image to the media library. It's very easy. I've explained how to do that in another blog post and video that has a title something like how to add an image to a WordPress blog post or page using the thesis theme. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, let's get started. In the dashboard is the thesis tab. You're going to first of all click on site options scroll to the bottom and just where it says right where it says custom style sheet options enable style sheet just make sure that that is checked off down there that is really critical it is checked off by default but if it wasn't and then you just checked it right now you'll have to click the big ass save button to save your work okay step number two we're gonna go to design options now for the sake of this video tutorial um, next to HTML framework, I'm going to make sure that page framework is selected. Under that outer page padding, I like to use 0.0, .0 but you can see what number works for you. Usually 0, .0, 0.0, 0.5 or 1.0 seems to work for me. I didn't change anything, but if you did, make sure that you click the big ass save button to save your work. Next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to click on this file right here, this is a notepad file with some code in it. Now you're going to need to copy and paste this code in order to complete this video tutorial and you can find that on my blog right there jupiterjimsmarketingteam.com. Before I copy and paste this code I just want to explain something in here. You're going to copy and paste the URL which will be the web address where the blog is going to find the image that it's going to tile in the page or site background. Now the zero zero right here, that just means zero pixels from the left, zero pixels from the top. So that image is going to start in the upper left hand corner and it's going to repeat along the X axis and along the Y axis. So it's going to go from left to right and top to bottom and where it says a background attachment it's going to be fixed so that as you scroll up and down the page the background is not going to move along with the text so let me just highlight this I'm in a Windows machine so I'm gonna press the control key and then the C key so that's control C to copy if you're on a Mac it's command C to copy I'm gonna click on the white area to deselect I'm going to minimize that file and then under thesis I'm going to click on custom file editor. Scroll down a little bit here. Make sure you're in the custom CSS file, which you should be by default. I'm going to put my cursor right down there in the lower left and then I'm going to press control V or control Victor, the military alphabet. If you're in a Mac it's command V and I just pasted the code that I copied from that notepad file. Now I'm going to click the big ass save button to save my work. Now what you'll need to do at this point is go to a website. I just happen to go to allfreebackgrounds.com uh, to choose a background. You're going to pick patterns. I picked wood and you know I just picked a couple of the patterns here. You are going to 
when you find an image you like, just right click on it if you're in Windows and save image as and just save it to your computer. You can just go to Google and look for, you know, background images or free background images and there'll be different websites. This is just the first one I happen to stumble across. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my dashboard. I'm going to click on the media library. You would be clicking add new to upload the image that you just downloaded to your computer. You're going to click add new. I've already added it, so I'm just going to click on the library. And then this is the image that I want to use for the page background. So I'm going to just click here to open it up. Scroll down. Now, right where it says File URL, click in this area. And when you click in there, there's nothing to indicate that you've actually clicked in the area. So then I'm going to press Control A to select all, Command A on a Mac, Control C to copy on a Windows, Command C on a Mac. Then I'm going to go back to Thesis, Custom File Editor, scroll down a little bit here, scroll down to the bottom here, and where it says Content Box, right there, Content Box. I'm going to highlight this, I'm going to highlight that, and I'm just going to paste right over it, Control V, I'm going to paste the URL right over that and then I'm going to click the big ass save button to save my work. Next to save time I'm just gonna go back up to the media library. I'm going to click on the other wood image. Go down here where it says file URL, click there, control control A to select all, control C to copy click in the gray area, deselect, go back to custom file editor and where it says body custom that's where I'm gonna highlight this right here and I'm just gonna paste over that control victor to paste I'm gonna click the big ass save button to save my work and I'm gonna go back to the blog and I'm gonna hit the reload or refresh I'm in calling it reload because I'm in my Google Chrome browser and you can see as I scroll up and down the right hand side we've got wood paneling on the right and left and in the middle section we've got that light wooden paneling. Now let's say instead of having that wooden paneling on the sidebars and the first and second sidebar one and two you don't want that I'll show you how to modify the code. Just go down here where it says content box excuse me there just get rid of the underscore in the box hit big ass save button and go back here hit reload or refresh and you can see now it's only in the content or the blog area it's not on the right and let me go back to that just for a second I want to show you one last thing I'm going to put that back in there, the underscore BOX, click the big ass save button, go back here, click refresh, okay, you can see that it's now, the wood paneling is everywhere. I'm going to go back to thesis, design options, and where it says HTML framework, I'm just going to put it on full with framework so you can see how it really changes things around when you do that. Click here. Now look on the left edge and I'm going to hit reload. And you can see it puts it up. I'm going to get rid of that down there. So it changes the site background. Now if I had a graphic image up here for the banner in the header area you would not see the wood paneling. And that's basically all there is. I hope it was helpful. Have a great day and take it easy.